Hello and welcome back to American Farming. Where we are just cleaning off a bit of kit here, as we did have a very dirty rolling session in many a field to get ready for the autumn harvest. Uh, and we do have a bit of a summer harvest as well. I had a quick check at the map for the wheat and we are ready to harvest. So, reckon I should probably clean the kit that's in the way of the harvester here behind me. I'm very excited to get started with it. I've never used a gleaner combine before, so it should be very American indeed. Uh, so we shall <laughs> we shall hop into that in just a moment. Um, I think that should be fine. I would like to use the case for our grain transport. Uh, going to use where have I put it now? I did a bit of a, a bit of a tidy so that I could uh, find kit. Right, I put it there. Gonna use the auger trailer for this kit because, uh, f sorry, for the first harvest for the uh, wheat, because it's not all going in the same place. That's the only reason. So I'll just put this here for now. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, so we will get that there. I did have a, a, a bit of a concern when I had a quick check at the map, and I will show you here in a moment as well. Uh, it seems that the headland of my field uh, ha hasn't been... Uh, oh, we've got seed in. Right, okay, we should probably do something about that. Um, oh, how? B oh, the greenhouse is dead. Absolutely no plants at all. That went, wet, that went through so much seed. All right, we're gonna we're gonna use this seed on the greenhouse. I know it might be a bit of a waste of of money, but I feel like I want to try it again, give it an honest chance because that must have gone through way too fast, way way too quickly. Because I don't think it's worth it at that point. Have we only got five pallets of of tomatoes from what two thousand liters of seed? Oh come on, we're already on top of one. Right, maybe it's not meant to happen that way then. I don't know if we can put it back into... Hmm. No, I'm going to put it in a trailer and then I'll put it into the greenhouse. So, I will sort that out here in just a moment. But there is the Gleaner Combine. I do want to show you the map that I'm on about here first. So, if you look at the wheat, the headland is still growing. So it's a bit strange. Uh, that's a fairly good chunk of the field as well uh, that is still growing, but um, I, what are we supposed to do? I mean, it is harvest day. It's the last day that we can harvest the wheat, so maybe just, yeah, maybe a bit of a funny glitch or something there, but at least we are getting the wheat harvested, so that is a good thing. Um, and then we can always plant something else in there as well, and hopefully we'll drill something else, and hopefully it turns out just fine. Right, I need to find another tractor. We do have the Alice nearby. I think it was nearby. Yes, there it is. And, uh, oh no, and again we don't... We can't use those other trailers because they're full of uh, potatoes, which I just went by. So this here is where we're going to feed the cows. Sorry, this is a very hectic start to July indeed. Right, we are feeding the cows in here. I believe it's over here, the trigger. I just pulled in and parked here uh, to get it out of the way. We are going to put these in. I don't think they'll take all of the, the potatoes, but I want to get all the food in that I can do before we, uh, we bring in any cows. The wheat is the final step because we are going to use this machine here to uh, turn it into mineral feed, and then we'll have everything we need to feed the cows. But we can't use those trailers, so <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to put this seed somewhere. I suppose the, the final option is this big fella here. Right? So we'll load this up. I should be able to put seed in. Oh, fine. I'll have a check first. I'll have a quick check. It is for the best. It's for the best to check, yeah. That is seed in it. Yeah, it's not fertilizer. Brilliant. Okay, at least we can put seed in. We are sorting all of this out. As you do. There's always something. Always something. Yes, there we are. Just one is fine. Put it in just one. So, maybe this is beneficial that it's the rear one, because I'm going to see if we can reverse this straight in to the seed. 
uh, or to the greenhouse rather and uh, put the lot in and see what happens. It doesn't have to go in there but might as well. Now I know we are a bit strapped for cash as it would seem at the moment um, which is why I'm really really eager to get the corn harvested as well so we can start drying it and selling it. Is this just physically impossible or am I just not having it? I think that's just the latter of the two. I know I'm right up against that side. Good thing I woke up early in the day to make the most of it, I suppose, hey? See, I don't like to cut all the faffing out. No, this is this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Come on, get in there, yappa. You absolute bugger. Just gonna call it another name there for a sec. Alright, there it is. Now it's become it. Get in there. This is never going to happen again. Why why have we not no access to seed here? I'm not under Oh my, that's on me. <laughs> Silly monkey, that's all it is. Early morning silliness, both in real life and in game. Right, all the seed is gone, it's taken it all. How has that gone? Right, we need to keep a very close eye on that because I think it goes so quick. It does say it goes as, as quick as uh, manure goes, so we should be out of seed before poop, but... We'll have to just wait and see. Right, now let's get this out of here. Let's get the combine out of the shed. And then we can head to the weed field. Right, here we are. Fire up the Alice Chalmers Gleaner for the first time. Amazing. Look at that. It just looks so good. <laughs> the N7 Series 3. Now... I do I do think I can just hook up to the trailer myself, no problem. But we shall see. Hopefully getting to the field is also uh, no major issue. Yeah, it looks really good. This will be a really cool, really cool experience because it's a brand new, uh, brand new combine for me. I've never used the Gleaner before because I really do try and keep... Right, this could be a bit of a longer trailer, but that's no problem. Um, yeah, the tomatoes look much better now, much healthier. Um, yeah, I've never really done uh, an American series that had the opportunity to use this kind of, uh, of combine. So it's really, really good. Really, really like it so far. It looks a bit funny on the back. It just looks a bit, like, small. But it, it's funny because normally the American combines like this are absolutely massive. And this one is massive, but it just looks smaller in a way. I don't know. Anyways, it will be in this field as well at some point soon. Actually, maybe not, because this is silage corn, so we'll be chaffing that corn. Um, I still don't know the difference. I still don't. Maybe the price. Maybe it's a specific kind of of corn. I really. Uh, same with narrow uh, beans, narrow soybeans. I think it is. Um, I have to. Yeah, I have to look into the difference there. I have no idea. Um, but if, again, if anyone does know the difference, especially with the silage corn versus regular corn. Because the, the other corn I just want to harvest and dry to sell. Where the other corn I'm going to uh, turn to silage, of course, for the cows. But now that I'm thinking, I think I need some corn as well possibly for the chickens but we can keep a little bit aside it's fine we can we can we'll constantly be rotating the uh, the fields with different crops just to stay on top of things I really also think that we do need we really need a our own potato field um, it doesn't have to be a very big one so I'm thinking the small field just just a little south of our farm there's a small field there we have corn in right now that could be a potato field and we can rotate that out and you know sort of see how it goes we can always buy some if it comes down to it but uh, I would rather grow everything we can without having to yeah buy buy anything 
So here we are, and as you can see, it's basically a a full perimeter of growing wheat, which again, really unfortunate, uh, because it would have been nice to harvest the entirety of the field, but if we were that close to it not fully, you know, being ready to harvest, then at least we got something out of it. So there's always a positive, at least it is ready and not withered, because that would have been, that would have been awful. Right, here we are, straight into the field. So, again, the reason I have the auger wagon with me is because I need to put some of this wheat into uh, the little milling machine for oh, to make mineral feed. Now, in the future, we could put uh, canola, I believe, or soybeans also, I believe. I don't know if we have to un unfold or anything because it's kind of opened. Um, we are going to be doing straw bales. Okay, well, let's just go. Let's go this way first. Oh, it's such a shame. Yeah, we're going to be destroying that part of the crop, but it's fine because it's not ready anyways. There's nothing we can really do about that. Um, maybe when we go and drill it all in again, uh, perhaps it will uh, act as partially fertilized. I don't know. We shall see. Anyways, this is very interesting, this combine. It's putting the swath out. I don't know if that's meant to be doing that, but it is putting the swath out to the side. It must be. Maybe it's... Maybe? I don't know. It's a bit of a funny combine, isn't it? It's cool, though, and it's working. And uh, and it has a decent capacity as well. And it, it, it looks very different. It looks interesting compared to other harvesters I've used, you don't often get a, what, what do you call that, like a polished stainless steel body, I, d I don't know, I don't <laughs> it's wicked, it's very, very cool. Right. Um, just yeah, turn like this, we can always get any misbits of uh, straw when we come back. So again, uh, baler ones. Just before we crack off into a wheat harvesting time lapse, balers. I think I might still look at upgrading because I I do like the thrower rack. It it, it does it is it is uh, it, it's wicked. I have to admit it is very cool. It's very appropriate, but I feel like we've already sort of I don't want to say outgrown it. We've used it one time for one field. But uh, I do feel like I'd rather do other bales. Um, but we, we'll see, we'll see. Because we'll get this straw done. And we'll stick that into the loft as well. And uh, and see. See how many bales there are there. Of, of just of straw. Because um, I'd be very curious about it. Missed one litre. There we go. Right, okay, well we have a good uh, opportunity now to go up and down this field and we'll have some wheat all ready to feed to our animals. and 80 litres fills up this combine. It is very full. So we'll go and bring the auger trailer over here and we'll get it unloaded. Right here we go. Beautiful. So we'll get that loaded into the trailer. It's coming out quite dark out of there, isn't it? But that's fine, it's going in lighter and it is filling up with wheat and that's all that matters. So that is really, really good. That's the last bit that we need be before we buy any cows. Now I would like to buy full-size cows. I, I would like to buy um, milk-producing cows straight away. 
Um, I don't know how likely that is going to be that we can get that. Uh, although, I mean, with the money we have, well, maybe, you know what, we might be a bit cheeky then for the cows, take out a bit of a loan. That, that is a possibility. I'm not against doing that, per se. I just, yeah, I don't know. don't know. We should, we, we, we'll look into it, because, I mean, 26, that, it's not very much. And yes, I would like to get the calves. They are, are all, always very cute. Uh, and that, but I think I'd like to really get started with the milk production, and uh, we'll have crops growing, and uh, continue, yeah, we'll put fresh crops in for them all the time, that is going to be our main focus, is the dairy side of things, um, potentially, once we get things really going with that, we can look into some Angus or something, a different kind of, uh, different kind of cattle, you know, Maybe some, some meat cows instead of dairy, but uh, definitely focusing on the dairy. And then with the chickens, obviously focusing on the eggs. With the eggs, I don't know what what we'll do with them beyond beyond that. I, we might just sell them straight off uh, to market as eggs, so we'll see. Anyways, let's crack on with the harvest. Well, I think we, uh, we're done. I realized I hadn't done any sort of first-person view in the Combine, so I thought this would be a good opportunity just to end our first harvest by having a cheeky peek around. Definitely has a style to it, the orange, uh, but that is part of the Alice Chalmers charm in it. Right, let's uh, see how we did there. We did manage to get the last bit of it. So that, that was quite a successful harvest, I have to admit. I mean, again, this field's not, I guess, massive, massive. I mean, it is quite large for what I'm used to, to be honest. But we did get, like, what was that, 19,000 litres or so off that field. That is fairly impressive, I do say so myself. But this, this Parker auger wagon holds, I think, 30-some thousand, so should be no problem for it at all. Maybe 20 some actually. Is it going to fill? No. Can't remember exactly. Ah, perfect. Right, good. Well, at least it all fit in there. Oops, sorry, case. Right, uh, <laughs> as you can see, we've got loads of straw now to deal with. So we will get the other Alice down here and uh, that will be our main bale tractor. We will do the small bales once again, as I said I will do, uh, just to give it another opportunity, another chance to, uh, to yeah, just to see how it works and all that. Hello, there we go. Should just lock in there. Should be alright. Oh, not when you smash into it. <laughs> right. We will also get the case headed down to the farm. I think that might be the first thing. I don't think I can get this to drive itself down to the farm, but we can absolutely try. Saving. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, right. So we are in it. Let's go here. Let's go set destination. We kind of want to go about, I don't know, about here. Can it do it? I think it is. taking a shortcut that we don't know about. Oh, please don't submerge. 
Right, I'm gonna let the... <laughs> I'm gonna let the helper take that one. Uh, yes, it does look like this is 20,000 litres, but that's perfect. The fact that we were able to fit this crop, wheat, which, you know, is probably one of the more um, quantifiable crops. <laughs> that's absolutely not the word I meant to use, but a crop that is the most quantity, whatever the word is for that, the most of, basically. Uh, so yeah, we did alright with the wheat. We'll get the, uh, this is a very slow drive indeed, but we will get this back to the farm. We will, let's have a look at the combine. Oh, he's driving through the neighbor's field. <laughs> oh, you cheeky monkey. We'll probably come across the combine when we uh, approach the bridge here. Anyways, we'll take this back to the farm. Uh, the first thing we'll do actually is hook the John Deere up to the mineral feed mixer so we can get that sorted. And then we'll put the rest of the wheat uh, into the bin, one of the bins. So yeah, we've got loads on. Oh, there, there we go. There's the combine coming through the neighbor's field. Made it though. Oh, there is a road there. Maybe we'll take that shortcut next time. Thanks, helper. Oh, blimey. Oh, what's going on? You dizzy bugger. Right, we'll, uh, we'll see you at the farm. <laughs> right, so... Let's sneak into here. Ah, oh, right, the uh, potatoes. We should clear them out. We should just load them in, actually. Maybe we should just... Yeah, let's do that. So we'll open both of these, but we'll deal with this first, just to get it out of the way. So we'll hop over here into the Ford pickup, and we'll get as many spuds in as we can do. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it should be about 20,000 litres, so... We'll empty what we can here, out of the uh, first trailer at least. It'll probably take the whole thing. So since we don't have any cows in, we can't see what we're doing. So I just have to go based off what I can remember. Because unfortunately, yeah, we can't. Until we have even one in, we can't see. Uh, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Wow, that's very slow. But anyways, okay, we can let that do its thing. Just get over to the John Deere here. Because we have to connect here to this mixer, which I've never used before, but I'm very excited to give it a try. Get it out of here. Yeah, we won't be keeping it here from now on. Uh, we'll probably take it back up to the farm. But anyways, we'll make our way out here with it. So first thing we probably should open up. Oh, what's that? Okay, we need to look here. So, N is to... Oh, that open. Oh, I see. Oh, it goes in like that. Right, right, right. Okay, so we need to... That's not on. <laughs> Turn like this if we can. Yes, very poor turning radius here. Could be because it's the pipe six extended or whatever, but anyways, we'll see if this works. Basically what we're doing with all the faff here is we're loading in wheat to this machine. This machine will convert it to mineral feed. So it basically can take um, a number of different grain um, and a few other things and it can turn it to mineral feed. So I think it holds about 5,000 litres. So if we can just line this up, this is not what I was expecting. Auger to auger. Can this work? Hmm. It might not work quite as nicely as I was hoping. It could be just a bit too close, that's all. I would like this to work. This would be ideal. Is the cover open all the way? Yes, it is. It could be... It could pour directly down. It could be a bit off. I'm just trying to line it up. Oh, that's... It's going to be too much of a bugger to do that. Yeah. Maybe it's possible, maybe it's not. It 
It's all right. Okay, no problem. We will. Uh, we'll just tuck this to the side here because we do have. Okay, we'll just get that put back. That's all right. We'll just leave the whole set up there for now. And how are we doing for the potatoes? Right. So the first trailer here is empty, which is great. I don't think it will take the lot of that one, second one, but I'm not going to put it in yet. Um, what I'll do instead is I will... Ah, here's what we'll do. We'll take the wheat and we will put it into here. And then now we can put the John Deere underneath here. And then this should uh, be able, should allow us to... Yeah, can we bring that in, please? There we go. Now this should allow us to dump directly into here from the gravity wagon. Now this is this is first time faff, so once we know what we're doing, it, it'll be simple, but you can't have this sort of setup and not and not have to make sure it works, you know, test it out and all. Okay, so we've got the first one enabled still. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. We are all done that. Please stop. Okay. 41 pounds to drive the harvester from the field to the farm. Right. Oh, we had it. We had it. We've got it. We've got it. We had it. We have got it. So we're loading in wheat into that machine. Uh, you can see it filling up with wheat. Ah, oh, brilliant. Nearly full, nearly full. We're at 80, 90, and full. I don't know if that's percentage full or what, but anyways, that's done. So now we can hop back into here. And, oh, 4,000 litre capacity. That's fine. Now we will close the cover. And I don't know how exactly it works. Um, all right, there we go. So this is now, if I'm not mistaken, should be um, go out as mineral feed, I think. It would be good to put it into a trailer to try, but at least we have, oh my, at least we have mineral feed ready. So this can stay there for now. The, oh my, there's just so much going on right now. <laughs> this can go just out of the way. We'll just move this out of the way because the spuds are in. At least at least most of what we need is in the uh, in there now. So this we can just leave here. That's fine. Very heavy load. Very, very heavy load that. At least we're using every single bit of kit. It's not like any kit hasn't been really used yet. At least for tractors. Uh, at least. Anyways, so that's what couldn't fit in. But now, oh, now we should be able to fit it in there which we might as well do because then we'll have the auger free and we don't have to fret on it. Oh my goodness. There we go. And now we'll be able to take this wheat, fill it into the bin and then uh, maneuver around any, what, any that we need, whether we need for mineral feed or for the chickens, because the chickens will need some food as well, but again, I'm not prioritizing the chickens at all at this point. We, we are going to get them fed, but just not yet. Uh, I would like to test out if this is straight away. It does still say wheat, but there's no... Oh, start... Oh, no, that's for the start engine. Blimey. Right, so this is what's going to be next down in the other field. So we might as well... Right, okay, I'll take this down to the wheat field, because we are going to be doing straw bales, and uh, we'll see you when we get down there. All right, well, as you can see, we, uh, we're not at the field. I did bring the Alice down there, but we are actually going to uh, collect some silage to at least put into the cow 
shed, cow barn, uh, to get them started for when we do add some in. I reckon that's what I'm going to focus on now, and then uh, at the beginning of the next episode is when we can focus on doing some baling. So, we'll load up as much silage into the bucket here as we can, a mere 2,000 litres, which we know that the cows will take at least, well, 40% of, yeah, total amount, so, um, right, this is actually the gate for us, oh, my goodness, N maybe not, yes, well, we know it opens out ways now, so that's good, <laughs> right, we'll go in here, and we should be able to just dump it straight here, yeah, it's definitely going in, brilliant, okay, so now, We've got 2,000 litres of silage. The next thing that we need is some hay. So we are going to run through, not through this part, run through here. We can get to the back. Might have been able to sneak through there, but it's a bit tight. Then we'll go up the stairs here. Right, all of our lovely hay bales. Uh, so we might as well... Now, where is the thing? It might be over here. Yes, it is. So we've got alfalfa hay, 25 alfalfa hay bales at 600 litres each. That's about 15,000 litres. So that's about half of what they need. So we might as well put them out there. So they're right there. So we'll run back down. Can't see them through the wall, of course. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's a bit tight back here as well. There we go, got to manoeuvre a bit slowly, and there we go, 25 hay bales. Now, if we're lucky, we can uh, just scooch them over. Nope, we're going to be loading them like this. I don't know if this works. <laughs> might be, I might be loading 25 at a time. Let's see how this works. Can I... Ah, brilliant. Okay, at least I can do that. So, I won't do this, I'll do this off camera. It's too bad we can't throw them on this side, just on this side, though. Not even. They do have to go in. Proper in, yeah. What about over there? Is that a food trough as well? No, that looks like for straw, maybe. Bedding in that. Yeah, that's probably bedding. Alright, well, brilliant. At least we know where we have to put these hay bales. So, we can get those in. We do have a few in, so we can always load them in while the cows are hanging about as well. The last thing we need, though, is mineral feed. So that'll do for now. I will move the bobcat out of the way. Yeah, we'll just get it out, out of the way. And we'll get the John Deere. could use the John Deere actually, but, oh sorry, the uh, the Bobcat with the John Deere to be able to uh, unload it in, but maybe we can just have it a bit to the side and it should be fine. I guess we'll find out. I don't know how this works, so. Or if it will work. I think. It's alright, again, we are just trying things out. We need to find out what works and what does not. Or how things work. They all work. It should work fine. So we are over the food trigger, are we not? So we don't need to open that. That's to load in, not to unload. Right, okay, well, let's get the bobcat then and see if we can get underneath. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice! Mineral feed in. So that kind of shows you the angle that it goes... Oh, it's very touchy, I suppose.
So can we have it at a normal height? <laughs> there we go. We'll just leave it there to fill. Oh, no, maybe not. There, okay, that'll work. It's, ah, uh, what? Fine, we'll just leave it there. That's absolutely fine. Um, it would be nice if that thing could unload while it was lowered down. Uh, perhaps we can maneuver it, but it's working now, so uh, maybe we won't touch it. Just don't, don't touch it. Right, that's all we can do. Um, oh, you can do, blimey. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, basically we could even treat this as a... S as a uh, s oh, there we go. <laughs> What an absolute silly monkey indeed. Right, so they need about 10,000 litres of this. But uh, yeah, it should be going in as mineral feed as it did go in to the bucket there. So we'll unload the bucket. At least we know this works though, as I said. It's just all about the, uh, the how. Now does this go fold in, right? Ah, there we go. Fold it in. Just get that shut down. Oh wow, how did I get over here? transported myself. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, how is it so bloody heavy? We did 2,000 litres of uh, silage, no problem. Interesting. Right, well, there we go. We've got mineral feed in, we've got hay in, we've got silage in, we've got it all in. Now it's time to bring the cows in. I think, as I said before, I think I am going to pull a loan, because this 26,000 I want to keep for a rainy day, as it were, and it might rain today, but uh, yeah, I would like to keep some money in uh, in, in the account uh, versus using it all straight away on cows, although I do want to buy some cows today. So maybe we'll start with like 20 cows? I don't know, but I think, yeah, so we'll start with Holsteins. Um, we might bring some Angus in at a later date, but I really want to start getting milk production underway, which means we can actually start um, repro they can start reproducing at this age if we buy them at that price. But at six months, is it worth spending a bit more to get? Why don't we start with twenty? milk producing baby producing cows and go from there so how much so for 20 it's 33,000 30 how much for 30 50,000 I think that's fair we could even just about afford that now but I will take a loan for 35,000 and that is how we will get cows to start and we'll be able to pay that back so quickly once the milk starts rolling in but yes we'll go to the money we'll go to borrow Oh, I've borrowed too much. There we go. Pay it back. And we'll get some cows. Yes, please. Oh, lovely. Welcome. Welcome, all cows. Right, so yes, your hay, I'm bringing it one at a time. So this this is where it becomes problematic for these bales. Because uh, I believe the straw will be a similar, similar thing. Hopefully we can put the straw straight in. But... Um, yeah, at least in the future, I was going to say we could bring the, the hay straight in here, but no, nah, it would be easier to not. Anyways, as I said, they can nibble on it. They're walking through their water, so it's fine. But now we can check the animal setup. Base food. Hey, at least they've got it. So that's good. Amazing. So they've got all the food they need. They don't. They've got water plumbed in, so that's brilliant, as we saw right there. It is right there, of course. Um... So that's it. We have cows. That's amazing. Uh, we are going to be getting straw in there as well before the end of the month. So that's really good. We will get all this hay sorted also. And uh, we'll have to bring a trailer full or two of silage. Not just 2,000 litre buckets with the bobcat from time to time. But everything is really close. You know, we get to the point where we have full-size bales. Uh, even if they're 125s, 
and uh, we can load them in with the bobcat because I think a 125 bale is about uh, five times no more than that ten times just about the size of these bales so yeah blimey get in there right might as well get them done but anyways we do have cows now uh, the next thing we're going to do in the next episode is uh, head into back into the wheat field it is cloudy but I don't think it's gonna rain so we can still get that straw sorted before any moisture hits it and uh, we can load it in to the uh, the hayloft here the straw and hayloft there we go that's your hay for now right so that's about 30, 40, so that's about 50. So I'm going to guess about 100,000 pounds. 100, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, 100,000 litres of food. So basically base food, 40,000. That's the aim. Roughage, 30, etc. And go on from there. Moisture food is perfect right now. Power food, we can add a bit more. But uh, it's all coming together. We have cows. We have cows. I think we'll be mixing outside of here. So we probably should remove the machinery from their area now. We'll just bring it in when we need to feed. We won't be keeping any any kit in here. They might nibble on the rubber or something. I don't know. <laughs> we don't we don't want them to do that. So we'll just get this gate closed. John Deere shifted out the way, and uh, happy days. There we go. We've got cows. Amazing. Very pleased about this. Means we're making progress already. Uh, we are going to get some more silage in, some more moisture food, hay, all that stuff. We need to load them up uh, and we'll get some straw in as well so they can start producing manure. Because they will start producing slurry, which we can also use to uh, fertilize crops, which is amazing. Amazing. Right. As always, thank you so much for watching the episode. I do hope you're enjoying this series. If you have enjoyed the episode please do give a cheeky thumbs up really helps out the channel and please subscribe so until the next one please do take care and bye for now